Hello Scorpio, this is Renee and welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all of your support, your likes and your comments. I love reading those. Scorpio, this is going to be your reading for 2023. Um, your 2023 predictions, what's going on for Scorpio in 2023, what can Scorpio expect, Wheel of Fortune, first thing out, wow, okay, so lots of changes for you, Scorpio, I feel like it's all going to be in your favor, you have the Knight of Wands, Oh, wow. Okay, two cards. We have the Justice card and the Lovers. So lots of major arcana already. Let's see, we want to put those that way. I'm going to go ahead and take both of those. What else do we have for Scorpio for 2023? The Seven of Wands. And the Temperance card. So yes, lots of Major Arcana. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have the King of Swords. We have the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords actually wanted to come out in reverse. But I'm going to put that up right and just explain that to you. Um, we have the Eight of Swords. We have the Page of Pentacles. And we have the Six of Swords. Okay, Scorpio. And what you may not be expecting on the bottom, we have the Ace of Swords. So I feel like, you know, you're... You're going through these uh, thought processes, Scorpio. I feel like you're going to gain a lot of knowledge. You may be going back to school, um, but I feel like you're studying something. You're um, becoming a bookworm in a sense. Maybe you're um, reading more books on manifestation, or maybe you're just studying about your spirituality or so forth. But I feel like you are really have your head in the books this year i feel like you're studying and growing as a person and i feel like this is increasing your thought processes this is giving you a new perspective this is you gaining your knowledge on a certain situation this also may be new truths coming out for you you may be changing your beliefs in a way because i do see a lot of change in this reading okay um scorpio First of all, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Wands. So I feel like, you know, you are going through a lot of great changes. A lot of great changes are going to happen for you this year. And I say great because I feel like your good fortune is really coming through. All of these cards are basically good. We'll go into the Three of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Um, but I feel like all the rest of the cards are just very positive. Okay, with the, the Knight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like you're changing in a way. Um, new creativity is coming to you. I feel like this is going to create some kind of situation in your life to where you may be basically moving or maybe you have been thinking about moving. You've been planning on moving. This is the year for it. I feel like this is your good fortune coming through, especially with the will of fortune being the first one out. This is your good fortune coming through. I feel like a lot of changes are coming out for you. This is going to be in um, your lifestyle, your work, your career, and your love. I feel like you are going to have a lot of great triumphs this year. You have the justice and the lovers. 
So if you're single, Scorpio, this is a very good sign. I feel like balance is going to come to you as a result of this new love interest. If you already have love, and look at the rainbow. I feel like you're going to the next level with this interest. You're going to the next level with this love. Um, but with right next to the justice card, and actually these cards came out together. So I really feel like they really go together. Uh, the spirit in the universe is letting you know that something's going to bring you great balance. The scales are going to be tipped in your favor this year. Um, I really feel like so many good things are going to come to you in the year 2023. And I feel like it's because of some kind of progress that you're going through, some kind of work that you have started in 2022. Um, you may meet this person at the beginning of 2023, or you may have just met them at the very end of 2022. But I feel like this relationship has such a great balance. It, it has equal give and take. It has, you know, I feel like the person that you're in this relationship with is really giving just as much as they're receiving. Very balanced, very tranquil. Um, I feel a lot of love in this card because, you know, the, the heart is really showing up really strong for me. I really feel the light flowing from that heart and the rainbow. So I really feel like this is going to bring you so much joy, so much interaction. I feel like you're really taking time to learn this person. And this person is really taking time to learn you. And I feel like you're growing. You're, I feel like this person is breaking down walls maybe that weren't breakable at one time. I feel like you had really high walls up, Scorpio. And I feel like this person, because of who they are and how they act, their personality, the way they carry themselves, I feel like they break down these walls that you wouldn't let anybody else enter. Very interesting. I feel like it's going to be a really good year for you. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands and the Temperance. So with the Seven of Wands, like I said, I, I feel like you you had your walls up. I feel like you were very guarded. You were very protected. You protected your feelings. You may not have wanted to enter in a relationship at this time because you were so guarded because you had such high boundaries but i feel like this person has just broken down these walls that were surrounding you it's kind of entered your defenses when you least expect it and i feel like they have brought you a lot of healing a lot of hope a lot of renewal for this future and I feel like 2023 was the perfect year for this to manifest in your life this was the perfect year to come through and I feel like you know and like I said this came out in reverse so I feel like this king of swords he's bringing a lot of great truth and sometimes his words are really straightforward. He's very bold. He's very honest. Sometimes he's honest to a fault. But I feel like his honesty, his straightforwardness, the way he carries himself with such knowledge and intellect, I feel like he's unbreaking your heart. He's healing you in places where um, you may not have been healed. I feel like he's really taking care of your heart. He's really trying to nourish and give you that, that love and care that you so desire. So I feel like that's the reason why this is coming in reverse. I feel like your heart is being unbroken. 
I feel like you're going through a lot of healing, especially with this temperance card here. With this Eight of Swords and this Page of Pentacles, I feel like, you know, you really have a need to hold yourself back a bit. You're kind of not believing that your situation, your success in love and work and pleasure. And I really feel like you're going to have a lot of monetary success as well this year. I feel like your income is going to increase. I feel like you're going to be gaining your abundance with this page of pentacles. This is a new beginning to some kind of new destiny that you're going on that's going to bring more money into your life. And I feel like you're very guarded about that. You kind of don't believe that your life is so good at the moment. You don't want to accept that all these good things are happening. But you need to remove your blindfold and your ropes, Scorpio, because you're gaining a lot of success this year. It's coming. It is coming. This is definitely your biggest year yet, Scorpio. And I'm so happy to tell you that. I feel like you are moving into a direction of calmness and serenity. I feel like this is the direction that you've been wanting to move into for a very long time. And because of all of this success, all of this good fortune that's coming your way, you may be literally moving. You may be traveling the world. You may be going to new destinations. But I really feel like with the Six of Swords, you're moving into a calmer paradise for you. And that's exactly when I say that is a paradise for you. If you if you notice, you see all the colors and it kind of resembles a rainbow. So I'm feeling like this move that you're making, some kind of progress that you're making is going to bring you so much happiness, so much joy, so much fulfillment. I feel like you are totally moving into your permanent success. This is the start of a brand new, successful, abundant, good fortune year. Okay, Scorpio. Let's get a little bit of clarity for this. <clears throat> Scorpio, what's going to be the outcome for Scorpio in 2023? What outcome will be for Scorpio? What can Scorpio expect? Page of Cups. Yeah, you may have a proposal. There may be something very unexpected that comes into your life. Um, I feel like this person is going to move at a pace that maybe you're not too used to. I feel like you really want to slow down. But I feel like your feelings, your emotions, and this person's emotions aren't really going to let you slow down. I feel like you're going to be following your intuition with the situation. Yeah, you have the hangman. So, yeah, I feel like this really gives you a very different perspective about love, about success, about your life in general. This person's going to totally provide you with a whole new perspective. Um, I feel like you've, you've gained a lot of wisdom with the situations that you've been through. And I feel like this person is making you feel totally renewed, totally... Yeah, you have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So yeah, I feel like these feelings that you're going through, th this different perspective that you're going through, you don't want to leave that. You don't want to move away from those feelings. You don't want to lose that in any way. So I feel like that's the reason why the Eight of Cups is coming in reverse. It's something that you definitely don't want to have taken from your life or um, left behind in any way. And I feel like you're going to go through great lengths not to leave this behind. You have the star. 
So yes, definitely, you have a lot of healing this year. This is a lot of hope, a lot of renewal. This is your miracles coming through. This is that person seeing you as the spotlight of their life. I feel like they have a lot of feelings in this situation. Yeah, the chariot, there we go. And that's exactly what I was feeling with this Six of Swords energy. You're definitely moving. You're moving in the right direction. You're moving into your success, into your abundance. This is your good fortune coming through. And I feel like this is you pursuing it. You're following the lead of the universe. You're letting the universe direct you into your destiny. Beautiful energy, Scorpio. And with the chariot, this may be you literally traveling. You may be traveling abroad. You may be actually relocating abroad. Um, but you, you, you're definitely seeing things that you may not have seen before. One more card. One more card. Okay, yeah. The King of Cups. And I think this all starts with this love interest. With the King of Cups. This all starts. Your success, your abundance, your, your good fortune. This all starts with the King of Cups. And I feel like this love is your King of Cups. King of Swords. And what you don't see on the bottom, <laughs> Scorpio, this person sees you as the empress. So they see you as very attractive, very nurturing, a mothering um, kind of person. You may have children or they may have children. So this may be a situation where you're going to put your nurturing experience into effect. I feel like, you know, if, if this has to do with the mothering nature, this also could be just you um, fulfilling your abundance. The Empress, she's very abundant. She's very fruitful to manifest whatever it is she wants. She has that ability. She's very fruitful um, for success. She's very successful, beautiful, attractive. She has all of those qualities. And like I said, she's also very mothering. She's a mother. So yeah, you could be with someone who has children. Or um, you could have children, like I said. Okay, let's get an archetype card. Let's get an archetype card for Scorpio for 2023. These cards are so hard. Yeah, apocalypse, apocalypse, and I know I'm not saying that right. I'm sorry, but yeah, this is very similar to the death card. So I feel like you are going through a total, total transformation. This is going to be life changing. This is the end of that new. The end of 2022, and you're moving into your successful period of 2023. Yeah, you have the mountain on the bottom. So see, see how there's a cave right there. I feel like you're looking from the top of your mountain. You're high up on your pedestal. And I feel like, you know, you and this person are high up on this mountain, just gazing down, taking in the views. Um, you've climbed your mountains, you went through your struggles, you went through your challenges and obstacles. Now it's time to touch the peak of that mountain. That mountain is your success. Mountains in the tarot represent abundance, success. So very, very interesting for you, Scorpio. You've traveled your mountain. 
Okay, what oracle cards do we have for Scorpio for 2023? What oracles? Creation, definitely. You are creating the life that you totally want to live. I feel like you're creating the abundance, the work, the lifestyle, and it's going to bring you so much joy. You're creating the joy this year. And look at this, Scorpio. It's going to be perfection. It's going to be perfect. Beautiful energy. Okay, Scorpio, let's get some more Oracle cards for Scorpio 2023. Yes, okay, so you're waking the lion. You have the strength of Leo. So this may be a Leo that's coming into your life. It doesn't have to be. You have Pisces and stuff is, uh, on here as well. You also have Aquarius. Um, you also have a... Um, basically every other sign too because you have Gemini you have Libra um, <laughs> you have all the signs so the person that you're meeting or the person that you have met um, they could be any sign you also have it is what it is and I feel like this is you not really wanting to accept your success but at the bottom, it's a burst of magic, Scorpio. Take in the success. You have earned it. You have went through all the obstacles. You went through all the challenges. You manifested this, whether you know it or not. Bask in your glory. Take a victory lap, Scorpio. You deserve it. You deserve all the success that's coming to you this year. What manifestation cards do we have for Scorpio for 2023? What manifestation cards do we have? Okay, let's see. I think we have two. Yeah, we have two. Okay, the first one. First quarter moon in Leo. Be humble. And be humble and grateful for the things that come into your life. Um, always be thankful. For everything that we receive from the universe. And new moon in Pisces. Attune to the divine. So stay prayed up in your spirituality. Whatever spirituality that you believe in. And um, connect to the divine. Connect to the spirit world. Connect to whatever it is that you believe in. If you believe in God. If you believe in spirit guides. If you believe in Gaia or, or what have you, make sure to connect with your spiritual side. Stay connected. And last quarter moon in Aries, work through your feelings. Take time to work through your feelings, Scorpio. I mean, I, I feel like you have a little blockage. You really don't want to accept the success that you're coming into. Or you really don't want to believe that it's real. Say hello and get down. Okay, that was real, right? And he likes to bother me while I'm doing reading, so I apologize. Okay, so Scorpio, that is your reading. So if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And happy new year, Scorpio. What a wonderful success. I feel like you're going to have a wonderful, wonderful year. And many blessings to you. Love and light.